guys, welcome back to my channel. For all of you who don't know me, my name is Wendy. I am a part-time reseller. I sell on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay Macari, and I'm dabbling a little bit in Depop right now. So um, I am also a full-time postal worker. I work for USPS as a clerk. Um, so that takes up the majority of my time, but I do resell on the side um, to make some extra money and to fulfill that thrifting shopping habit. <laughs> so I just thought I would get on here and show you guys um, what I picked up during my speed thrifting this week. I get an hour for lunch every day, so I grab something to eat in fast food. It takes me about 10 minutes to get to my favorite thrift stores, 10 minutes back, and then, you know, 10, 15 minutes in drive through So that is about 20 to 30 minutes at most um, every day to thrift. I kind of went every day this week, so shh, don't tell my husband. Anyways, <laughs> I um, got some great things, some brands that I have never picked up. I actually got a lot of shoes and bags and some things I can sell as, you know, well, let's just see. <laughs> so I went to Goodwill one day and they brought out a brand new rack of donations and they were from a local boutique called Hey Heifer. <laughs> Anyways, they're sweaters. I can see how they would donate them. They're really not going to sell this time of year, but, um, I thought I would either, you know, post them, you know, here in a couple months, you know, when it starts to uh, cool off just a little bit. I know we're just now getting into the um, hot summer weather, so I don't think that they're going to sell well right now. But this first one is a brand called Adora. Um, I've got small, medium, and large. So um, they feel like a really soft, um, they feel like a really soft, it's kind of got nylon in there. I believe they're acrylic, but the sleeves, they've got extra long ribbed sleeves and so a little bit of a little um, cute shoulder. Um, they're all black. They had red, but um, I think they may have had them on a rack next to a window or something because the shoulders right here was a little faded just on one side. So I left all the red, but there are these. Oh my gosh, the window pane sweater. Um, this feels really nice. This is from a brand called Davy and Danny. Um, I actually have bought um, a couple of sweaters like this and they feel really nice. Um, this one is a really, it feels high quality, but they just had the boutique um, pricing at like $42. So I didn't hesitate to pick all these up because like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time to list. So if I could list one thing and list multiple items, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, it's black with the little cream uh, window pane uh, plaid. And I think I've got all sizes in those as well. Um, next thing is this Russell Scott. It is a vintage wool jacket. Um, it is like a purple. Um, it, I don't know if you can see. Um, this is like a metallic goldish. It's got blues and purples. It's actual real leather on the shoulders and it's got this gold metallic braided design. Um, very, very heavy, so heavy that when I put it on a plastic hanger, it snapped. <laughs> so definitely not going to sell right now either. But there was just a tiny, tiny little flaw. I think a little, it's in the back. Um, it is wool, like I said. So, I mean, it's probably been exposed to maybe moths or something. But that's all that I found was that one little spot. But yeah, I got that. It was half price. And so I think they charged me not very much for it. This, for some reason, they charged me more for um, the other one than this one. I think I don't remember, or maybe it was opposite. I also got this cabbie. It is a pink 
little, it's a long, well, I said little, it's a long jacket with the raw, raw hem around the, the edging. Very pretty, the little fabric buttons. Um, this was full price. I think they only charged me like $4.50 for it at Goodwill. Um, next thing I got is this Michael, Michael Kors. It's just a really lightweight little blouse. This was a dollar at my local consignment store. They change their colors out every, well, they don't really do it on a, um, a regular basis. No schedule, just whenever their, um, their clearance racks are about empty, they'll switch the colors. And so, um, here's how the tags look like. They originally just priced it for 15, then it goes down after a certain time. And so the last price was 750. So if this would have been before the dollar sale, it would have been half off of the 750. So, but a dollar, I'm happy to pick that up. I think I'll probably do this for, um, do this. I think I'll probably um, sell this um, during my live Instagram sales that I started doing. Um, this will go good with like my, either my red, white, and blue, or like my bolds, my colors, my primary colors. So the next thing is this Elena Solano. It is 100% two-ply cashmere, super soft, might lead to just a tad bit of sweater, sweater shaving, but it's super, super soft, very neutral. Um, also dollar, color of the week. This is a Chico's, small, medium. It's like a poncho kind of uh, cardigan. Very, very soft. It feels really nice. This again was just a dollar. And then this next one I got at Savers. I think I got this during the 30% um, off um, coupon that they had emailed us, um, but I did pay up a little bit. I didn't pay 14. Um, I, you know, 30% off that, but it's new at tags. This is like the Catalina cloth, which doesn't wrinkle. Um, people love it. Um, this one doesn't have pockets like some of the other ones I have, but the print almost looks like a Toy Birch logo. So I thought that was cute. It's got the side zip. This is a size small. I love this color. In fact, I have a long chomp bag that is like this periwinkle color. Looked, it would look really well with it. The next thing I have is this TB. This is my first time finding TB. It is a size four. I got it for that 30% off. It does have cool pockets. This is more of like a stiffer, um, almost like a canvas fabric with really sheer, sheer attached top blouse top in the back though. It is so, so cute, but I don't think I'll get a whole, whole lot for it. I know TB does well, unlike Thread Up and stuff it retails for a lot, um, but comps are kind of all over the place for this, but it's very cute, kind of splits a little bit. Oh, wait, hold on. It kind of has that uh, pleated split right there. It's still not exposed or anything. Uh, and I also have this Theory. It is a size four. It's kind of like that olive khaki. It is a romper dress, zips down. Feels super, super cool. Like almost, I don't know, like a, I think it's um, not modal. What is that? It is da, 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 Rami. Yeah, Rami and Viscous. So it feels really good. Got some wear on the button, but cute. Very, very cute. And it has that tie so it can cinch a little bit at the waist. Got that utility look. <laughs> okay, y'all. I don't know about this brand. I Googled it. I haven't had a chance to um, Google Lens it. Um, but it is paid up for it. My daughter, um, I think I got this last Sunday, so it's been right out a week. We didn't get this one on lunch break, but she was with me when we thrifted Skywalker Monkey King. 
it has that on the side. It feels like, and it looks almost like Swartzky crystals. Swartzky, I can't say it. <laughs> I just watched um, Veronica's video about uh, pronunciations of German and Austrian brands, and she mentioned that, and I still cannot say it properly. Um, but you'll have to check it out. I'll put it up above. It says Monkey King on the back. Again, this feels very streetwear-ish. This is like the most qual high quality feeling t-shirt that I've ever felt. Um, stitching looks great. The tag is satin or sateen, um, but it's awesome. There's no spots on it whatsoever. Like it's never even been worn. Everything is in place. If y'all know about this, you will you please let me know? I have no clue what to list this at, um, but I will Google Lens it. If I find something before this video goes live, I will put it um, in. I will put it up there. <laughs> um, next thing. Oh my gosh! So I got this. This is like the day that I barely had time to thrift. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this brand. It's Robert David Morton. No, Robert David Morton, yeah. It, it's got a little dingy on the tag. They have it listed at $5.99. It's definitely vintage. It's got a couple of snags throughout the dress. Nothing that you that is totally obvious because it's so vibrant in the print. It's very, very sheer. Um, but all of the listings I have found like for this brand and these vibrant prints are on Etsy for like two, three hundred dollars at least. Um, so I think it's a really good vintage brand. Um, like it's a little bitty snag down here. Wait, no, let's just dust probably from dragging, uh, dragging on the um, savers floor because it is very long but I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to just wash it with my regular detergent. I need some very gentle um, laundry soap. So if you have a suggestion, just let me know, but it's gorgeous. Super, super gorgeous. I'm not on Etsy yet, but if I list that, I'm definitely going to cross post that over to Etsy as well. All right, the next thing I have, I was super, super excited. I did pay up for this. This is the first time ever finding this brand. It's uh, Draper James. It is Reese Witherspoon's brand. It is a really good size. It's size 10 and it's new with tags. Retails for 150. They have this priced at 16.99. I used my 30% off. So, I mean, I've still paid up for it, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous chambray embroidered Swiss dot. Well. Oops, yeah, really tiny embroidery though. Swiss dot, um, real, real wrap dress, but it's super cute. Size 10. Um, some of the other solds um, were for the smaller sizes, and I think this one will do better. And the other ones weren't new with tags, I don't think. So, but yeah, Draper James. Um, the next thing is this Ryu jacket. It's very, very soft. Um, there are two flaws with this one, but for a dollar at that consignment store, I couldn't leave it. It's got a tiny spot down here. I need to spot treat. I think it, I can rub most of it out, so I don't think it's set in. It's missing this button right here, but it's still, they attached it to the deal, you know, so I can just sew that back on. Very, very cute, like, pea coat. It's got that cool collar, super soft. It is a size small, but it's oversized. <clears throat> this is the first time, I think, finding this brand as well. It's Double D Ranch Wear. The, the tag is leather. This isn't kind of a style that I'm used to seeing for them but it's like a metallic long maxi dress. Um, it's kind of like a black with like silver specks. Real stretchy, flouncy. 
But yeah, super cute. This is a size large, or no, size medium, sorry. I don't really know how well this will do. I don't know where to start pricing it, but I'm hoping to get at least $50 out of it. Next thing is this cachet. It's a little, little vest. Feels really good. It's got the ruffle little neckline. Um, well, it's kind of more like a blouse than a than a vest, but it's got a vest look. Well, I guess it would be a vest. But I just paid a dollar for this. This is a size small. And then here's another cachet piece that I paid a dollar for. It is also a size small. It is like <clears throat> one of those wrinkly, um, like nylon feeling jackets. Got the zippers on the arms. It comes with the belt. It's very, very cute. Might not sell right now, but I'll have it for later. And I couldn't believe that they priced this so low at Savers. This is $3.99. Um, it is a, I can't read it backwards. <laughs> it is a size small, but I think that there was probably an undershirt, like a tank that was attached to it because it has a little buttons on both sides. But you could just wear your own little tank top, but the sleeves, look at the sleeves. Very cute, little paisley or whatever it is, mandala, very cute. <clears throat> this next piece, I was in a hurry that day. I think that was the same day that I got the um, vintage dress. Um, this is LA Blues. It is a plus size little cropped denim embroidered jacket. It's got a little wear around there, but I think it gives it a cute little um, vintage look. It's also missing this top button right here. Um, it's not attached. So I looked and see if it was still in there. It's not, but look how freaking cute that is. I couldn't leave it behind. Other than the missing button and the kind of the wear around the edging or whatever, I don't think there's any spots on it. And this Columbia, no, it's not the season. This Columbia little thermal, it's a very cute print. Um, really good condition. Paid like two bucks for it. And there's this Elizabeth and James. This is a size, I don't even know. Size isn't on here. Hold on. Um, doesn't have it on there either. Hmm. It's probably like a medium. Um, it is like a black and blue and purplish plaid print, kind of that quilted wrinkled feeling. Um, it retails for quite a bit. I don't think that it's gonna sell for a whole lot, but for a dollar, I couldn't leave it. Um, I think the comps were about 20 to $40 for this exact dress. But that's cute, and I think it'll sell it, you know, towards Christmas and in the holidays. Okay, this was a quick pick. I, <laughs> I didn't inspect this fully. There's a little dinginess around the collar. It is a Woolrich Women's long, 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 long denim dress. Um, it's missing the button right here, but the button is still attached. Oops. The extra button is still attached right here and I can just remove it. It is a women's size large, but it's very cute. Would be really adorable with like belted with one of those macrame belts and even like some like boots. That would be so cute. And you can even wear this probably as like a duster. You know, like an over duster instead of just like as a dress. But yeah, uh, I think I paid like five fifty for that because that's my Goodwill's dress prices. And then this is, I think I paid, um, I pay half price for this one, um, so that would have been two something. Um, but it is a. Cynthia Rowley, I don't really pick up this brand, but it's 100% linen, and it is a very vibrant green color, has pockets, it needs to be steamed, 
but yeah, super cute. And then I got a couple of members only jackets. I like these. Um, there is like a maroon uh, burgundy color and then a blue, almost like denim color. They are, this one's a size 40 and a 42. Don't really know how that is equivalent to in men's European brands, but they are in really good condition. There was just a small spot on here that I need to spot treat. It's not like even a spot. It just looks like um, you can just wipe it down. But yeah, super, super cute. I had picked up like a baby blue members only jacket. I still need to list before. Okay. A couple things that aren't on the hangers are these um, Lululemon. They're just some like slouchy lounge pants with elastic waist, it's like a chartreuse green. There are a couple of snags on here. Barely, I don't know if you can see those. It's a little washed out, so. <laughs> Anyways, that's the only way I knew that it was Lululemon. I don't think that it's fake. Um, there's not a size dot anywhere that I can see. I've searched. Of course, you know, you see how I missed the other stuff. So I probably missed that too. I figured it would be in this little pocket since it's mesh. That's usually where I find all of the other sizes that's near the, the mesh. But I don't see anything. I don't know. It's probably a large, medium, probably more like a medium. I don't know. I know there's aren't they're like two, four, six, eight, ten kind of thing. So I don't know. But they only had those listed for two listed. They only had those um, tagged for two ninety nine at Savers. Um, and I found these exclusively Masook. Um, I have found Masook before, but it was kind of flawed, um, so I never listed it. But these are just like a casual kind of dressy pant, um, black, stretchy. They almost remind me, uh, well, I don't want to say remind me of St. John, but it's a little smoother than St. John, not wool though. Mm, excuse me. Um, it is a size... Da, 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 medium. It's 100% cur acrylic made in Korea. But yeah, they had these for just a dollar at my local consignment store, so I couldn't leave them behind. I'll probably list those for about 50 and I'll probably take, you know, a good offer. This next one, it's just Pilcro in the letterpress. They are like a, a brown colored um, stretchy corduroy. I believe they're gonna fit my daughter. If she doesn't want them, I'll list them, but for a dollar, I was all for it. I love to, I love to pick up corduroy. And these ones were for me. I can wear gray or blue uh, slacks. They're Torrid 14 regular, just like a stretchy. The only thing I don't like about them is they don't have pockets. Um, but yeah, I can wear them for work. I don't, if they don't fit me, I haven't even tried them on. I only paid a dollar for them and I'll resell them. And I think this is the last clothing piece. J. Jill Ponty knit um, plaid skirt. This feels amazing. Um, I know I've picked up some Ponty knit stuff before and it felt good like this. But it has, it's just like, um, it's a wrap type skirt, not really a wrap, but it crosses over. This is a size medium petite. Paid only a dollar for it, I love to chill. Okay, so I got this at Savers. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's kind of, it's got that oil spilled, almost like, hey, I'm a unicorn kind of thing. <laughs> it is just a little clutch bag with the leather, little leather strap, one little flaw. You can't really see it if you're not looking for it, but it's missing, we'll see, I almost couldn't find it. It's missing one little, little metal deal. That metal mesh with the leather braiding, super good condition. Um, it's that teal color inside, but yeah, super cute. Like I said, I got a lot of bags, so. This is just a cute little, little bitty tiny coach bag 
um, pretty good condition. All the corners look great. Um, inside looks pretty clean. They didn't have it marked up because it's so tiny. I got it for just $4 at Goodwill. It's just a little red monogram bag. Okay, guys, this is amazing. It's pretty big too. Um, I don't know if any, we, ugh, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of the original Florida Key West bag. They only had this um, tag for $3.99, but this is a company that started it, um, late 70s, I think like 1976. I'll post a little story here that I found about them. Um, but you can go to their place in um, Florida and request like a custom bag with the custom painting and the custom colors. This is the same kind of like leather, vinyl, whatever it is. I think it's like coated leather. Um, I don't know. I'm probably wrong. I don't really know. Oh, it might be leather. I don't know. On that deal, it says it's leather, but um, it's the same kind of material that they use for the boat seats. So you can just like wipe them down. Super easy to keep clean. There is like no wear on the outside whatsoever. The inside is white, so it's just a little bit dingy. Um, not much, but this is amazing. So beautiful. So happy with this. I might want to carry this for a little bit. <laughs> Probably not though. All right, I've sold one of these before. This is a Brighton bag, little holiday bag. They had it listed for $3.99. I think I paid $4 for the last one I had and I sold it for like $25. Um, but that's very cute. Perfect for like the holiday. This one. Okay, if you guys don't know, my closet is got a lot of like weird um vibrant unique kind of stuff or at least that's the the vibe i'm going for this is a little fish crossbody it's a real stiff fabric i want to say i don't know anything about this there's not any tags or anything up in there but it feels like a dry animal like an animal hide that they've painted i don't know somehow they've texture it to do the the fins as well i don't know anything about it like i said but it's cute it zips it's in good condition <laughs> anybody want a fish purse <laughs> only i would pick up this bag okay the next one i have and i think i'll probably sell this at <clears throat> one of my online um ig live sales it is the sack it is very clean this doesn't smell bad <clears throat> um might need a little bit of reshaping there's nowhere in the corners but it's just a cute little um animal print it's like woven almost like ribbon reminds me a lot of the seatbelt bags you know but it's really tiny oh it's got two straps there we go Next thing is amazing. This is got a little weight to it. It is a fully beaded bag. Um, I don't think the the brand is anything special. It says, oh my gosh, another Y and S original. Did pay up for this a little bit. Inside's satin feeling and it's in great condition. Um, but it is so cute. I don't know. I don't really know what the design is. It's just some pretty patterns. I didn't see any beading that was messed up. But like I said, it's got a little bit of weight. Um, what do I do next? What do I do? <laughs> Let's do this. So this is... Uh, Mary Maxim. I, I kind of pick up some hard goods sometimes. Let there be peace. Um, but it is got that peace dove and it said peace. This is a pattern with all the schemes of yarn that you need. Um, paid about $7 for this. It's tagged at $10 with my discount. Um, about $7. I'll probably list it for about $30, $35 plus shipping. 
this cute little um, Japanese um, hand rolled. It's not fully silk. The other is like, um, I think it said vinyl, but they spelt it V-I-N-A-L. But it's so pretty. I like to take these scarves sometimes and tie them around the purses that I sell, but I might just list that one on its own. And I bought these. These are some um, Dolce Vita, just some zip up boots. There's a zipper on each side. I bought them for my daughter and then she ended, ended up being a little bit tight for. It's my size. I might keep them. I might list them. They're in pretty good condition. thing I got these um, Steve Madden wedges <laughs> what these are so tall they're in pretty good condition I don't really see anything wrong with the suede these were just a dollar at my local consignment store I grabbed this from the Goodwill it is the Mercedes hat it's a golf hat like a plaid look to it super cheap i think the hats are like two bucks um <clears throat> probably list that soon okay got some more boots i believe these are the sundance brand a dollar so yeah some fringe sundance boots these are in really good condition just need a little wipe down Ooh, the oh the size I guess I could tell you a size in case you're interested if anybody is interested in any of these items feel free to message me I will do um, I will do I will make you a deal um, so I don't pay fees you you would have to probably pay more shipping for some of these than you would if on Poshmark um, but well Oh, it's a 37. I guess I could have just looked at the bottom. These Sundance ones are 37, which I believe is a size 7. Um, and these gorgeous Minnetonka. I actually per have another pair of these. They're t a little bit taller, I believe. Um, Minnetonka boots. Um, these ones, well, what size are these? Size 7 as well. But I also got the last pair for a dollar at the sale last year. I don't know why I never listed them. Um, but yeah, Minnetonka size 7 boots. Um, I got these at uh, Savers. They, they're they Aldo and they had them listed for, they had them priced at $6.99. So I got 30% off of that. No, that was the day I used my 20% off because the 30% was over. This can be a project piece. The leather is in good condition, but there's some water spots. So I might see if I can, you know, maybe darken them up with some um, leather, whatever it's called, <laughs> not dye, but um, sometimes if you just use the leather conditioner, it darkens them more than what, you know, they were already. But these are very soft, a very supple leather. These are a size, la la la, size eight. And another project piece. I couldn't leave these behind. They are actually Tory Burch. Um, like a, they, you can see that the color is kind of wore off. <laughs> they are just some cute little pumps. They need some love, some TLC. Paid a little bit for these. I shouldn't have. What was I thinking? I just seen three pairs of Tory Burch that day, and I was like, "Ooh!" I was in Tory Burch like zone, I guess. The other ones weren't as bad, I don't think. Here are another pair. I don't know. I think these ones might be Millers. No, no, the Millers are the the sandals. Um, these are a size. I'm hoping these are real. I think they are. Well, Pluey, these need some love too, but not as much. Um, what are these? Oh, there it is. It is just a little war inside. 
leather upper. What is the crap? Let's see. Eight. Yeah, these are an eight. <laughs> and then the last pair of Tories. I love. I wish they were my size. They are just some little um, canvas espadrilles. Slip-ons. Got this little gold logo. Um, these are probably also, yeah, size eight. Super, super cute. Actually, these had the less the least amount of wear on them and they were less expensive. I probably should have just stuck with these. Okay, and on to more shoes. Okay, I don't know if y'all have ever sold this brand. They are John Fluvogs in the money style, I guess. They, usually they have different ones on the bottom. These need a little bit of TLC. There's some leather war, but they're amazing. The last ones I sold, they were like a hundred and something dollars they sold for. Most of his have the like chunky, crazy looking heel. I haven't seen any really that were, you know, the just the flat bottoms. Um, these are Mary Jane's. They are a blue with a red embroidered flower design. Um, I did pay up for these as well. I think I got 20% off of these. But I think I could probably still get 75 out of them. Maybe. They're so cute. <laughs> I'll probably use the term lagging look with those because of the Mary Janes and how they can be styled. <laughs> okay, do you guys remember the candy wrapper purses from back in the day? This one's actually new with tags. It's all in arm candy. Um, for Tootsie. Um, this is like the Junior Mints um, wrappers. It is a crossbody. Um, it's adorable. Paid only $3.99 for this. But yeah, super cute. I think this will do well on Depop. Another one. Where did it go? Anyways, I have another one just like that one. That is like the um, animal print. It's a little bit bigger and it's the animal print. I don't know where it is. Makes me wonder if I'm missing a whole bag. Hmm. If I find it, I'll put it at the end. Next thing is this. Um, what is the brand? It is Double Happiness by Vivian Tam. It is like a dragon print little tote bag. It's not perfect. Um, straps still look great. These don't go for much. So I'll probably just list it and uh, sell it for like $25.30 maybe. Maybe. And then there's this purple, like a, almost a magenta color. Okay, it's a wool kind of bucket bag. Um, very, very cute. It's not a whole, that's just where they, um, well, it is a hole, but that's where they, uh, I guess, knitted it, like around or, or not, spun it. They didn't knit this, obviously, but it is like a felted wool, almost, I think it might even be alpaca, by the way it is, but you go through here like that. It's got the little button, and you can wear it as a little crossbody. Super cute. Got that at Savers. Um, got some little vintage hankies, little linens, some of them, like, three, oh, here's the third one. They put, like, some of them in this one with this one, so I kind of needed to buy all of them so that I could put them back together, put the sets together. This one had four. Oh, no, that's three. <clears throat> okay, y'all, these Fly London. Ooh, look at all that from that wool purse. These feel, they look like they've really never been worn. Um, they are a pair of just cream off-white little sandals. These ought to do really well. I need to get these listed ASAP. They are a size. Where are you, size? 
Oh, they're there. Size 39. So cute. Okay, that's for those a little bit. There's the size. Um, well, I don't really matter. There's slippers. Probably about an eight, nine size in the slippers. Little doggy print. They're super soft. They're bobs. You know, Bob's got that little memory foam cushion. Um, yeah, little dog slippers. Lizzie. Soft. My daughter will probably steal those. She sees this. <laughs> and there's these at Goodwill. They are a pair of Minnetonka just wedges. I've never seen them in like a wedge version. Um, pretty good condition. Got little tassel ties. But yeah, I paid like four bucks for these. Or was it five? They may have charged me for like a boot price, but I don't think they did. I don't know this is Lily Pulitzer for Estee Lauder, but that's super cute. I do have some Lily Pulitzer stuff. So I thought that I would probably send this as a free gift or something when I did sell one of those um, dresses. Did I ever get them listed? Story of my life. Okay. There are these. Gudrun Shoden. I think that's how you say it. I think the SJ is maybe a, a sh sound. I don't know. But they are so stinking adorable. They are suede. They are a size 39. Um, all of the ones that I seen on online that sold for like 50 to 100, they were as cute as this. Um, but this is definitely like a lag and look kind of deal as well. Um, she uh, is, I believe, uh, I believe a Swedish designer. Um, but yeah, so cute. Yeah, don't even look like they've ever been worn at all. Paid a little bit for these, but I could not leave them behind. They're so stinking cute. Definitely reminds me of that Johnny Was vibe. And I've got this cute dropping stuff. I got this, um, little, it looks like a picnic basket purse. It is like a plastic, um, Remember, well, I don't really think it's the same material, but that flexible plastic, almost like that bra bracelet material that you used to make those friendship bracelets. But yeah, so cute. Got this at Goodwill, four bucks. And I know this is just Charming Charlie's, but it is that, um, what is that? Straw wicker, whatever, um, bag opens up it's cute twists it's got the little metal chain got a little bit of coming off right there i probably can just clip that off but yeah super cute and couldn't leave this guy behind okay he is a stuffed cat <laughs> i got him at savers not perfect he's got a little spot somewhere i'm gonna try to clean that off but yeah, he's super cute. He's pretty big. I mean, he's like covering up my whole head. Somebody's gonna love him. Somebody loves cats and he's they're gonna want him. But yeah, like design. Okay, and I think this is the last, no, oh, I got a couple more things. This is the last bag that I have though. I did pay up for it a little bit. This is a Dooney and Burke. Um, pretty clean on the inside. Not as, well, it's got a couple ink spots. Pretty clean. Um, does have the little hang tag. It's got the red, red leather, red trim, red cross um, design on the monogram canvas. Um, bottom looks pretty good. But yeah, super cute. I'll probably list this at about 70. Probably hope to get like 50. So, okay, last things. I think these are the last things. It's a couple bracelets that I got. This is just a cute little bangle that looks like a honey, like a beehive design. And then there is this mother of pearl little bangle I got. This is kind of going to look really good with the little parrot earrings that I had wore because they have like the mother of pearl inlays. 
but I might sell it as a pair maybe. I don't know because that would be cute together. I'll probably sell, sell the separate. And then there is this like wooden beaded like bird design bracelet. It's just like a stretch bangle. I think I think this might be old. I don't know but there's like cardinal and a toucan. It's a cute little little bangle. It's got like I don't know anyways that's like 20 minutes a day for the last week um oh, sorry 20 minutes a day for like the last week speed shopping that's like definite speed shopping so that's why I kind of missed some things um but I, overall I'm pretty happy with what I did get um got that cool funky aesthetic of almost everything that I chose. Um, I think I got everything. Let me let me double check. <laughs> yeah, everything. I got everything except for that one bag. So I'm wondering where it's at and what I'm missing. I don't know, but this is plenty. <laughs> so, okay, I found it. So this is the leopard print one. Very very cute. Extra large. And the brand, like I said, this one actually says something in like a letter, leather deal. This and Nahui Allen. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I got a little flimmy there, <laughs> but it's got like the little mesh um, attached little bag. I'll probably sell this during my live and when I do the animal print sale. So if you like it before then, just hit me up and I'll make you a good deal. If y'all like videos like this, be sure and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for if I ever decide to go live, you'll get notified and you come join me. This is where I do haul videos, what sold videos, um, mystery unboxings. I tend to do a lot of those. Um, I have some other ideas in the works, maybe some repair tutorials kind of things, um, that kind of thing. Um, check me out on Instagram if you're interested in checking out my live Instagram sales. Um, first one I did with Lori Jean. She is love under slash Bella S, I think. Um, I plan on doing some more with her and maybe collaborating with Sandra. Um, Sandra Styles. I don't really know her full handle, but um, she's over on Instagram and maybe even Holly. She wants to do one. So if anybody else is interested in doing a live sell or collaborating on any kind of video, you guys just let me know. I'm always looking to partner up with, um, with someone and, you know, have a little fun. So uh, y'all have a good night. Thanks. Thanks for watching.